hot day that we have to do. We've got to hurry and feed the pigs. I got the chickens distracted for a second, then we've got to milk patches, and then we've got to go feed the beast. What is the beast? I'll show you in a minute. So let's try and feed the pigs. Ready. As you guys can tell, the pigs are just looking absolutely great, getting fat. They're just loving that goat milk in their feed, and so are the chickens. This is their favorite time of the morning, is when the pigs get fed. Hey, so you got patches? Yep. Okay, so White here is going to milk patches. And what we're doing with the milk, Mark, so you want it? So what we're gonna do with the milk is we're gonna feed it to the pigs. So we're just putting it in that pan. Put it in the pan. And then dump, dump it, in it in the bucket. bucket. And keep on doing that until it shoots out. Okay, so we're gonna put her out to the pasture, okay? Okay, alright. I got it, you know. Okay, go. And she's free. Guys, this is right here. This is the beast. This thing is loaded with bees. In the last video, it was of this box on the fence post just covered in that swarm of bees. So I am fully suited up just being on the safe side because this hive scares me. So we're going to hurry and get these guys fed and then uh, I think we'll be good. Got it. They haven't drank that much. They haven't? No, look. Oh they only drank just a little bit, so I don't think I need to feed them. I think they're good. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, as you can see, we've got the beast hive all taken care of. I thought for sure I would have had to fill up their jar this morning of their feed, but looks like they're doing pretty good, so I'll probably just top it off tonight. But i um, got a really kind of funny story to tell you about this hive. So, uh, when we, me and, me and Dusty went back that night to get that box, uh, we had, um, we ran into a couple of problems. First problem was Dusty got stung on both of his hands. 
uh, a couple of times and they were just starting to swell up really bad and everything and then um, we had to go to Walmart hurry and get uh, some little headlamp flashlights and had to get those because we couldn't see what we were doing and then we lost a part for our drill so we had to buy a little bit for the drill and then walking out to the um, to the van it was like 10 o'clock at night that we we're doing this and some guys walk in the parking lot just pulled up walk getting out of his car stops and looks at me and dusty we're putting on our bee suits putting on our hats and he's like looking at us like there's something wrong if they have to put on their bee suits to get into their van so we just thought that was just absolutely just hilarious and then I got stung right on the back of my neck right there got it So that was quite the adventure, just Dusty getting stung on the hand, both hands, and then I get stung on the neck, and then we've got this beast of a hive, which guys, it is just, it is just amazing just how massive this thing is. It scares me half to death. So um, they're doing good on food. So. What we have to do now is we have to go to Dusty's mom and dad's house, hurry and get those bees fed, check on them, make sure that they're doing really good, and that hive is just booming. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so I'm here at my in-laws. We're going to hurry and uh, turn to the hive really quick. I've got my suit with me so I can just hurry and suit it. I got well, my jacket. It's kind of hot. I don't feel like roasting to 100 degrees inside my bee jacket, so these guys aren't near uh, darn aggressive so I'm not worried so we're going to into it uh, fill up their uh, water and kind of see how they're doing so let's do it Okay, so they've drank it completely all gone, which is a good thing. So we'll hurry and get this uh, filled up for them. Let me show you guys really quick. I don't have my smoker, but they are looking really good. So I'm not going to tear into them. I don't have my hive tool, but just glance, they're looking really good. Okay, guys, I want to thank you for coming along with us today as we did our chores, checked on the bees, and seen how the, the beast hive is doing. So, me and my good friend, the owl here, we're going to say goodbye and hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.